Hello there, Becky. Lovely to have you on GB News. So what's causing girls to stop swimming? How much to do with COVID? How much is it to do with body image? Yeah, um, obviously, it's such a shame that pools have been closed over the past 18 months. Even some are still closed now. Not everything is back to normal and opened but up. But we kind of noticed girls dropping out even before, even two years ago, before these restrictions. Because a lot of it is, once they get into their teenage years, it's body image, puberty, periods, um, a lot more schoolwork, not having enough time. Parents as well, not being too busy as well. I mean... Parents, it's a hard job when, you, especially if you've got a numerous amount of kids and you're having to take them here, there, and everywhere. It's really, really difficult for families um, to keep it up. But obviously, it is something that people recognise is a life skill. It's a great form of exercise. It's really sociable too. So we kind of want to see that dropout rate, not to necessarily go on and become Olympians, of course. Um, obviously, it's great if they want to take uh, swimming further, but if they don't, it's just about being active, being healthy be more body confident as well. Becky, it's great to have you on the show. You are, of course, a, a national hero, a hugely respected athlete, but you give a lot back to your sport as well. I'm sure you've been keeping a close eye on the number of pools closed during COVID and the extent to which they're now opening. What's your general impression of how much swimming has been lost? How many kids haven't taken that step and learnt to swim that otherwise would have done during this pandemic? Oh, it, it's hundreds and thousands. I mean, the statistics around Learn to Swim are shocking anyway, even before COVID. We have 50% of kids leaving primary school unable to swim in this country alone. Um, and when it's a life skill, that is really, really scary statistic. Um, and even more so adds COVID into that. How many have missed out on that opportunity? How many now have developed fears? How many now pools are closing um, where they've not been able to reopen? We've seen a humongous um, shortage of swim teachers as well. So um, the fact that people aren't wanting to become a swim teacher just over this period, I think it results in over 600,000 kids missing out on swim lessons just from a shortage of teacher teachers as well. When it comes to body confidence or, or lack of it as girls uh, reach puberty, I think that was an issue when I was at school. I, I don't know if it was when, when you were at school too, but how can we track whether it's getting worse or if it's always been a problem for young girls? I think it's always going to be one of those that's a bit of a, ch a challenge and a hurdle. I mean, I don't know anyone that really likes putting a swimming costume on, that's for sure. I certainly didn't. And especially during those years as well, you're going through so much and your body's changing so rapidly that it's it's hard to feel confident any way through no matter what age you are, but especially through those teenage years. But I think once you go some and you realise nobody's looking at you, you realise the benefits outweigh kind of that image and it helps you have a kind of a healthier image of your body as well because you're seeing normal people that are just wanting to stay healthy. You see, you feel the community when you go there as well. And I just think the positives outweigh the negatives and you get more comfortable in your own skin. Um, definitely the more confident you get in the water. Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favourite shows and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.